Why did the Saxons call the language English? Which of itself is a great question. One would naturally think or just assume that, well, the Saxons spoke Saxus or just Saxon as a Frenchman speaks French, a Spaniard speaks Spanish and so forth. This begs the question, why would the Saxons call their own language English? Let's dive into it. Straight from the Anglo-Saxon Chronicle, we have the following. Her sindun und des Irlandum Britannum fief ye theoda English and British and Scottish and Pictish and Bokladen. Here are in this island, Britain, five languages, English and British and Scottish and Pictish and Book Latin. So, which is interesting here, it doesn't say Saxus here, it, doesn't, it just says English, you know, which is interesting of itself. Even from King Alfred himself in his preface of the pastoral care, he says, Sithon ich hier thol ye lernod havda swa swa ich hier forstod and swa ich hier and yet fully cost. Arechian machta ich hier or English awende. Translation as follows, and when I had learned it as I could best understand it, and as I could most clearly interpret it, I translated it into English. You know, the funny thing here is that, again, you know, we have a Saxon, you know, for those of you who don't know um, English or Anglo-Saxon history that well, King Alfred uh, was the King of Wessex, Kingdom of the West Saxons. And so we're talking about the 9th century here. And here we have, uh, not referring to his own language, but rather he's, he's using this English. You know, it makes further uh, you know, call for investigation. The term English, or English, as uh, it would be pronounced in Old English, goes back to a tribe of people called the Angles. And the Angles, this is in roughly southern Denmark, northern Germany, is specifically in a district called Anglin. Uh, so these people in, the four, in 450 AD, they came to Britain, they occupied the central Britain and, and, and northern Britain. By northern Britain I'm referring to lowland Scotland as well as northern England. That what happened was that the kingdoms, uh, the petty kingdoms if you will, the smaller kingdoms if you will, of Bernica Riccia, literally Bernicians kingdom, and Deira Riccia, uh, the Darians uh, kingdom, they both came together. To, to create what we call now, what eventually became uh, Northumbria, uh, but in Old English we have your Nor Northan Humbraricha, which uh, literally translates to North Humber's kingdom. Um, so, and what is meant by Humber? Well, it's people north of the Humber River. That's what this refers to. Later on in history, in the 7th century, in the 600s, Northan Humbraricha went under conversion to Abrahamism, and a number of missionaries went there to convert the kings. So what happened next with the combination of, uh, of this new religion in, you know, to, to the island, so to speak, well, not really new religion because uh, the, the uh, Celtic uh, uh, peoples that were living there before, they, they were the ones that had contact with Romans, you know, they were, you know, they were Christians too. Well, some of them were, anyway. Um, so with this new religion and bigger union under this term, uh, Northumbria, a literary culture emerges, and this is specifically among the Angles. We're gonna, we, this is very key to remember, and we an example of this with Bede, and especially with Cadmon's hymn that was composed um, roughly in the in 700s in the 8th century. By the time uh, West uh, Saxon Aricia, literally West Saxons Kingdom, uh, when the West Saxons, so to speak, when they became Abrahamist and dominant and literary, English at this time, or really the language of the Angles at, at this point was especially starting with um, in Northumbria, but moving on at this point when Wessex was becoming very powerful, at this point, Eng uh, English was already regarded as something prestigious, if you will, superior in reputation and, and had influence of Saxish or, or, or Saxon, if you will, language of the Saxons. So, and this is very key to remember. So Anglo-Saxon literature, or if you will, Old English liter literature, as John Earle describes, is in a composite dialect, which is Saxon in the main and Anglian in its modifications. Uh, thing is, most of the Anglo-Saxon texts that we have 
Most of them are written in early and late West Saxon with a lot of like Anglianisms here and there. And don't get me wrong, there are other Anglo-Saxon texts that are not of West Saxon. There are some are, are in, in Northumbrian, there are some in uh, Mercian, and there's some in Kentish as well. He further explains as Tuscan was the model of Italian and Castilian the model of the standard Spanish, so was the Angle dialect the model of the written language at Canterbury and at Winchester. All in all, the Saxons called their language English, despite, you know, them themselves not being uh, English, but, or really Angle. Number one, uh, for its prestigious reputation, uh, being part of a, uh, an established literary tradition, if you will. Um, number two, the Saxon king, or West Saxon king, uh, King Alfred, called it English as well. And at this point, the term English became a later term for all forms of the vernacular Germanic language in Britain. Uh, and by extension, uh, the term English uh, broadened. It was even applied to other Saxons as well, or, 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 or the Germanic people, Germanic speaking people in, in Kent, for example, or what have you. Uh, as a vernacular language, or a vena pardon me, the vernacular Germanic language, you know, opposed to Latin. Right, so vernacular meaning like language of the people, if, if you will. It has to be said though that despite the fact that, you know, historically speaking, yes, the Saxons of old uh, in England uh, did call their language English, but that doesn't change the fact that their language Saxon is Saxus, is Saxon, you know? It's, you know, it's like if I would, for example, I'm speaking English right now, I mean, whether I call my, my language like any other word, that doesn't change the fact that I'm speaking English. Right? So we have to bear that in mind, right? Uh, King Alfred or, or, or what have you, uh, you know, use the term English to make their speech look more reputable, so to speak, and whatnot. But despite the fact that their, their own language is Saxon, uh, that, that has to be said. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe if you're new. If you, and if you really like the channel, please become a patron at my Patreon page down below. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.